Okay, everybody, and welcome to our Mad Cat Snapshot. And, uh, and who, Martin, why don't you introduce yourself to the camera? Hi, everyone. I'm Martin Crompton. I uh, run the Flight Sim category. And with me today, I've got the X65. And we're about to do an unboxing. So this is our, our brand new X65F HOTAS hands-on throttle and stick. So this is uh, the revolutionary force sensing product that we've uh, seen so much about at CBIT and CES. And a bit of a first of the kind, is, is that so, Martin? Yep, no, no other one in the world makes a force sensing stick. Okay, and just very, very quickly, before we get to the unboxing, uh, force sensing, is that the same as force feedback? Nope, force sensing is the amount of pressure you put on the stick with your hand translates into the amount the joystick moves. So the joystick doesn't actually move at all, it is a stiff stick. So the joystick doesn't move at all, uh, but it just takes, uh, it, it takes how much pressure you're actually applying onto the stick and puts that into the game, right? Absolutely. So, uh, so come on then. Let's let's see what we get in the box. So we've got we've got a very cool kind of military feel. Where did, where did that come from for the packaging? Well, we looked at it and thought it's a combat stick. Let's go with like a combat type packaging. Alrighty. Okay, we like the declassified stuff. So uh, here we go. That's the top. Wow. So okay, you can even take a look at that. Wow. So what is that? That's, that, that is that That's your manual. manual? Yep. That's one meaty manual. Look All your usual languages. Okay, so <laughs> there's a, enough to go through there, there right? Yeah. All righty. Some more instructions. A couple of discs. Now, in the box, we've got your driver disc, mm -hmm. and we've also got a demo of Flaming Cliffs. Now, Flaming Cliffs is like a uh, modern war game. Okay. Wow. So, uh, so who makes the demo? Uh, the demo is made by a company called Eagle Dynamics. Okay. You get to fly F-18s or A-10s or Russian planes. You know, it's, it's a modern, modern era fight. So, so it means that even if you don't have a flight sim or a flight action game, you can actually get right in, on, on into it and uh, start playing yep. immediately. And get going. Cool. Okay, so that's all the software. And we'll just lift the lid. Wow. And as you can see, it's well packed. So this is, a, this is one meaty product. Maybe a little too well packed. <laughs> So there we go. Okay. Open Pandora's box. Okay. So let's uh, let's start taking this bad boy apart. Let's see what we got inside. Okay. Let's grab the stick out first. Okay. Captain bag for protection. So this is the uh, this is the main stick itself. Yeah. This is the four sensing stick. Check that out. Wow. That's pretty cool. So that's an all metal construction that we're using there. Yeah. And. Um, Okay, and then you can see actually on the stick itself. So you've, you've got those, uh, you've got the little drill mounts in in either side. So what are they for? Yeah, the drill mounts are so you can attach it to a desk, or you can attach it to a, a cockpit you may have built. And we also supply a plate that we'll see in a minute that you can attach it to that will then velcro it to your desk so you can move it off and on easily, but it remains stable. And as we were saying earlier, the stick doesn't move. The stick itself doesn't move. Okay, well let's keep going. Okay. And uh, are we going to unpackage all of this? and see how the kit looks when it's all complete. Next we have the throttle unit. Distinct advantages on this throttle unit. Uh, it's got twin throttles, not a single throttle. Why so would that come in useful? So if, you're Why do we want... a, if you're flying a twin engine plane like an F-18, yeah. you can control each engine independently. So, well, it looks like there's just one there for me. Yep. I don't understand that. Flick so... the switch, uh -huh. and there you go. Independent oh, throttle. Oh, look at that. And then can you look that up again if, if you're flying yep. a single engine aircraft? Yep. And then it's, well, that's, that's kind of genius. How cool is that? Then you've got your, all your little hats and mouse and rotaries. You've even got hats on the back end. So tell the, tell the wonderful viewers watching this how many different control surfaces we have on the X65F, how many different buttons and dials. In total, yeah. we've got um, 11 buttons, 8 hats, a K switch, a mouse switch. Jeez. Four modes, two rotaries, seven axes. You know, so there is enough wow. for any any would-be pilot to fly a F-18 or whatever military craft they want to fly. There is enough buttons and functions on there to cover so the, any. The priority. idea being that uh, that if you're just playing like a flat action title, like uh, like uh, Tom uh, Tom Clancy Hawks, for instance, then uh, then you don't need such a sophisticated control system, but if you're playing something like Flight Sim X, yep. you've got as much power yep. and uh, control as you need. If you're playing Lock-On or Black Shark, or any of them sort of titles, then, you know, you're covered. Well, what's this bad boy? This is the switch panel that goes on the front of the 
throttle. Mm -hmm. On here you can see we've got four force sensing buttons, standard buttons, and a safe switch. What's the that force, for? The safe switch, well you can program it for anything. It could be for eject if you're in trouble, jets and stores, oh, that's so cool. that kind of stuff. The force sensing buttons, what we've done with the stick, we've put on four default senses. Okay. So you can use this one to four, F1 to four, to tell you, hang on. <laughs> That's okay, to tell, us, to tell you how much, uh, how much you, force is force being put, is being into, being the put stick, right? into the stick. Yeah. Okay. So F1 being the hardest, F4 being the lightest. Okay. So if you're using F4, you only need to use it with a thumb and forefinger and you can move, this, move the force sensing. But if you're using F1, you'll really need to grip the stick. So that it basically allows you to adjust uh, how sensitive the force sensing is, right? Absolutely. Because obviously not every game has been built uh, with force sensing in mind, so this allows the system to adapt to pretty much yeah, any Yeah, what we've used it for, it, in sort of, on the F3 mode you can use it for dogfighting, yeah. yet when you want to refuel in mid-air, yeah. you don't want it to be so sensitive, you don't want to make small corrections, so what you then do is switch it quickly to F1, so you're only making small corrections, therefore it enables you to refuel a lot more accurately. Gotcha. Alrighty, what okay. else we got here? So, this is the other part of the switch panel. This basically gives you the default force settings for F1 to F4. As you can see, there's the X column, the Y column, and the twist column. Oh, okay, right. Fine, fine. So you know at a glance uh, how sensitive each of those force settings are, are going to yep, be. Yeah, absolutely. Gotcha. Anything more? Look at this. It's like, <clears throat> like Christmas come early here, Martin. Okay. Here's, here's the base plate for the stick. Right. Okay. So as we mentioned, that basically attaches itself yep. onto the bottom of the stick and you screw through the holes that we've already discussed. Gotcha. And then once you've done that, you can use this Velcro that's also supplied in the box, stick it on the bottom, stick it to your desk. So the base plate is, is meant if, if, you, if, I guess, like most people, you don't want to start drilling holes into your desk itself, yep. right? So, yep. so the, the stick will sit on the base plate, and then you can Velcro or, uh, or, or adhere the base plate to your desk in any way that you want. Absolutely. If you're super hardcore, and you can, I guess, drill directly through the holes into your desk, right? Yep, absolutely. That's so If your cool. wife doesn't mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what else we've got here is a palm rest. This is just I will say, Hold that up to camera. Sorry. That's okay. Wow. We have the so, palm rest. Right. That just conveniently sits over the top. Let's take a look at that. Of the stick. If you've got a larger hand. All right, okay. You put your hand on there and rest it on there quite nicely. So you don't have to attach that if you don't want nope, to. No, that's it, completely optional. I guess it's, uh, it's useful if you're, if you're doing sort of long haul flights in Flight Sim X or something. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to be using it. Okay. Two bags of screws. Alrighty, that's not very interesting. But, uh... <laughs> Essential <laughs> the same. Yeah. <laughs> and the last thing we have are the two switch panel brackets. Okay. Now so, the switch panel brackets yeah. fit Explain underneath the throttle unit. Right. Then once they're fitted underneath there, you fit the two switch panels on there. That's pretty awesome. So basically, all the controls from the switch panel are just a slight reach away from your throttle unit. Okay, gotcha. So, that once so you haven't got to take up. your hand off, you haven't got to move around, you haven't got yeah. to pull it into place. It's yeah. all connected, all there at your fingertips. Wow, okay, so are we there? Yes, I think we're just about done. Well, wow. so so you can't say that you don't get your value for money here. There's a lot of kit yep. that's, uh, that's supplied for your price. Absolutely. So, uh, well, there you go. This is uh, this has been Alex from Mad Cats, and we're here with Martin, our uh, category manager for the X65F. And in our next video, uh, we're going to uh, set this bad boy up, and we're going to show it to you in action. So stay tuned, and thanks for watching.